Cajun. I love using turkey. It's a really lean meat to use. So I thought I'd do a beautiful five spice turkey and I wrap them in banana leaves. So oh. I've got a big turkey breast there. It certainly is one big breast there. Had to say something. Uh, can I get you to chop into little medallions, about 150? That's, for me, I think that's a really good portion size and I'm going to make the marinade. So I've got some shallots here. Give those a fine chop. And then what I'm also going to use is I'm going to use some sesame oil. So I think sesame oil has just one of those incredibly pungent flavours and just is perfect for obviously Asian inspired meals. So I've got about a tablespoon of my sesame oil. You can use salt reduced soy, but I'm not using salt reduced today. Regular soy <laughs> with plenty of salt in it and flavour. That's what See? it's all about. I knew I'd be speaking his language now. Can I pop these straight in there? Yeah, pop Here them in. So I've got about two and a half tablespoons of the soy going in there. And I've got about two and a half tablespoons of honey as well. Now, you could use agave, but for me, I think the honey flavour is exactly what I'm looking for here. Nice and, and sweet. A, yeah, it's a nice balance of salt to sweet. Now, we need garlic. So I'll get you to crush some garlic. About two garlic cloves would be perfect. I'm going to give that and a And give mixture. them a little chop for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Sure. Now, the best flavour you're going to get, obviously, from meat is if you can let it marinate. So I really want this to marinate for as long as we can. But oh, if you about don't... 30 seconds, that's all it's going to marinate, <laughs> isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Now, what I'm going to wrap these in is banana leaves. Now, if you are going to use banana leaves, there's a couple of little tricks you need to know. Now, you see that it's not very pliable, so what we want to do is we want to put it on the barbie, and you'll see what it does, it slightly changes colour and it makes it more malleable. You can just see it's getting a sort of glossiness to it, if you like. And I love using banana leaf in a barbecue. It's a great way of protecting what you're cooking yeah. and keeping all the juices in. Well, I think Perfect. also we want food to have that lovely natural look to it and, and why not use nature? Well, what you're saying is the aluminium foil that I use is probably not quite as flavoursome. Hey, but I, you know I'm, what? I must what say works we, for you? I must say when you put something wrapped in banana leaf down in front of someone, it does look really nice. Yeah, it looks appealing, looks obviously tasty. All right, what you want to do is you want to put some baking paper down because the turkey can actually stick to the banana leaves and then... And you want to just wrap these up into little parcels. So Straight over like straight that. Straight over is the way I like to do it. And I've got a little skewer, so you can just skewer it like so. This is like a Balinese kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Voila. Perfect. I'm going to put this in the barbecue for about five to ten minutes each side. And I'm going to make a little cabbage salad Ooh, to go with it beautiful. because, you know, protein, vegetables, they just go perfect together. I'll just have the protein, though. <laughs> there we go. Adrian, the turkey is cooking on a moderate heat for about five to ten minutes. So I thought we'd make a really lovely, refreshing cabbage salad to go along with it. I've got some wombok, I've got some red cabbage. Can, I'd you, like can, you, can you say that again? Wombok. Wombok, that's it, wombok. <laughs> it's a funny name for a cabbage. So you're paying me out, then I'm like, wombok. No, no, it's a funny name. I, mean, I noticed you picked the inside yellow leaves, yeah, haven't you? The inner leaves are always going to be sweeter. I'll get you also to chop some chives, and I'm going to make the dressing. I like to make a creamy dressing, but obviously, I'm not the kind of person that would use cream. So I'm going to use some go. yogurt. So this is like a fake creamy dressing, is it? Whatever you go. want to call it. Oh, okay. It's the tasty creamy dressing, <laughs> okay? Right. Again, I'm keeping with that whole sesame seed flavour, so I've got some sesame seed oil. I like how you've got two different types of cabbage, you know, the yeah. red and the yellow, and there's a little bit of white in that one as well. So I've got some ginger. I'm just going to microplane some ginger, and then again we'll microplane some garlic. So look at this. I've just sliced a little bit of the cabbage. Yeah. It goes a long way, you yeah. know. So well, you get the flavour that way. And just a little bit of that olive oil. Can you pop yeah. that in there for me? Nice drizzle of Australian extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, it's there about two tablespoons of the olive oil as well. Go, now, if you don't want to use the olive oil to thin it down, because essentially that's what I'm using it for, uh, yeah. you could use some water. It's, sort of, it's, it's like a mayonnaise. It looks like yeah, a mayonnaise. Absolutely. It's perfect. Pop it all in. There we go. And you're just going to mix that around. I'll get um, you to do the mixing, actually. Uh, okay. I'll just mix this nice and gently like that. All right. So this is almost ready. I reckon we should plate this up in a minute. We're going to have a lovely flavoursome, five spiced, five flavoured turkey wrapped in banana leaves and a refreshing cabbage salad. I'm looking forward to this one. Looking for inspiration in the kitchen? Don't miss the special edition Good Chef, Bad Chef magazine, packed with over 190 of our favourite recipes. Um. Available in news agents now. Alright, 
Adrian, this looks perfect. The cabbage looks refreshing. I think we're ready to try it. The, the Zoe, how do you know when the turkey's cooked? That's... All right, there's, there's two little tricks. You can press it and you want it to have a firm feel or you can open it up and have a little look if you want to as well. That's probably a good way to do it. You know, you check one of them yeah. rather than serving the whole lot of them and, you know, they're not raw. <laughs> I, I sometimes use a digital meat thermometer. I know when it gets to That's at least idea. 72 degrees it's cooked, but I reckon I'm in safe hands here, Zoe. I reckon you are too. Got a good feeling about this. All right. I just love, I love the way you sort of unpack your food and it's... Oh, it's like a little present. Oh, oh, look at that. That is perfect. It's lovely and moist. All right, Adrian. I'm excited to see what you think. It looks great. You've got a little bit of marinade on the outside there. That tastes pretty good. That tastes fantastic. Presentation-wise, I love using things like banana leaves. It's a really simple approach. It kind of has that lovely natural feel. Turkey fire flavour, little cabbage salad. Yeah. This is barbecuing the way I like to do it. I'd have to agree. Lovely cabbage salad to go with it. What do you think? Mm. That is delicious. Turkey cabbage shells, what a winner.